Let's take a look at how to design a header using Artistier. We're going to create a header in WordPress, and we're using Artistier version 3.0.0.35180, the standard edition, or the more expensive edition. We are in the header section. We've opted for a WordPress theme. There are a bunch of brand new things in this latest version of Artistier. In fact, there's a, a number of new things that are new in this version of Artistier 3 that weren't in the last beta version of Artistier 3. First off, I want to re-familiarize uh, anyone that hasn't seen this before. Artistier has a suggestion button on the left of each of its tabs. This basically pulls from a quasi-random selection of library elements and allows for a quick configuration of a sample type of header. So when we hit this button, it randomly puts together a new header layout and organization. Now, I like to think of this as a way to develop a sense of what I want to possibly do. I'm kind of looking for some inspiration. I'm not a graphic designer myself, by trade nor by training, and sometimes a little bit of suggestion helps me figure out what might be possible, what's possible with Artist Steer, and what I might be able to build on. So sometimes I'll go through here and I'll hit the suggestion button until I find something that looks like it could be a good fit for the project I'm working on. In this case, I'm going to stop on this particular item. You'll notice right away if you've used Artisteer before that there's something new about this header section. The header now expands across the entire width of the page, even though our article section or our sheet section below uh, is not full width. Uh, Artisteer does have fluid width capability for the entire site, or you can just have the header and or menu uh, working in fluid width. So in this particular suggestion, we've come up with a 100% fluid width. To give you a better idea of just how that works, we could change that up to a sheet width or back again. Now, there are a number of brand new layouts for the header, default layouts that is, and this particular layout is an overlapped one with the menu at the top. We could switch that up and, and put the header at the top with the menu built into the sheet, such as that hit the undo button, we can go back again. Or if we just hover over any one of these items, we'll see a quick change in our steer. We can bounce around some of these samples and see if we find a better fit. So you get the idea, but I kind of like the elements and how they were put together originally. Now there's a couple things about this. The actual sheet section, the content section, the part that's going to hold our content that is, actually kind of floats over top of our header. And our header is right up next to our menu system. Now, we could change that if we wanted to by changing the margin around on the different elements. We can set different margins for the menu or for the header or for the sheet itself. When we work in the header tab, that's this tab up here, this margin button changes just the margin that appears above the header. If we wanted to change the menu, we'd have to come in here to the menu section, and at this point we could change the margin above the menu. So if we wanted 20 pixels above both elements, we could set that. In fact, that overlay option is created by negative 20. That's how we get that particular effect. There's also a margin that we could put between the sheet if we wanted to separate the sheet. Or if we don't want it to cross over quite that much and you have the standard version of Artist here as opposed to the cheaper uh, home version, I believe it is, you can come in here and you can, to the pixel, set this up exactly how far distant you want it to be. So let's say we wanted it 13 pixels of overlap. We could definitely do that. Now in addition, we can set up a picture within the header and control exactly where our text goes. So this creates a bit of a box framed within this section. We can make that wider if we choose, and we can make a longer headline so that we can get a better sense of how that fits within that larger box. Or we can also, again, come in and custom configure if we have the more advanced version of our to steer.
if we don't want transparency. And basically with the text box, what you have is this boxy looking section. You can, as we previously had it, set up a transparency such that that color doesn't show up. Our fill color is set here by default. We could change that if we wanted to, to a different color. Or we can make it transparent or slightly transparent such that the image behind it comes through just a little bit. Now, if we don't like this image and the image is a little generic, there is a library of different options that we can choose from. Or if we have our own artwork, we can pull that in as a background image using the from file capability. Now, in this particular example, I don't have uh, much artwork on this test computer. I think I may have some sample pictures that comes with this particular PC. So I could pull that in a little bit. And that's not a terribly bad fit for artwork that I just happened upon. But if I really wanted something special, I could go out and create a piece of artwork that would span the entire width or stretch to fit. Now, with this capability, we can establish gradient over the image. We can add a texture or a glare. See little stripes coming down. Hopefully that shows up on the video. Glares are possible as well. And basically this is, if you think of uh, different layers of images, we've got our image and then we've got a couple filters that pass uh, on top of that image to give it a little bit more of a custom look and feel. So even if we're working with a stock photo, for example, we can add a mixture of glares and textures and it will look customized. There is a capability if you want some sort of uh, headshot or picture, you can add that in to the site. You can position that. Dragging it around. Now we still have that text box on there, so we can put it behind the headline if we want, but only if transparency is set. So if we came over here and put, oops, wrong way. If we set the transparency down to zero, you'll notice that that image isn't going to be layered in between the headline itself and that color that we've added. You can create these images yourself, but not from this type of image. What you need is a PNG file uh, that has transparency around whatever element in the picture that you want to show up. So you basically need an image with a transparent surrounding background around it. You can add effects to this as well. One thing that I like sometimes is to put a little glow around it just to help it fit in a little better. There's a flash capability with Artist here as well. This came out a couple versions back and they offer up a few examples of some flash animation. And again, these are similar to a transparent layer of items. I'm not sure if this shows up exactly terribly well. Let's remove the, t the text block so we get a better view of this. And maybe make this a little taller as well. There are leaves scrolling across the header right now. Real faint looking, but distinctly there. You can create your own flash elements and load them in there. One way that you can do this and can be effective for small businesses even is to create a slideshow, if you will, and save that as a flash element. You can do that yourself with Camtasia if you have Camtasia, which happens to be the software that I'm using to record this video now. Gonna remove that for the moment and let's take a look at the headline now this headline we can make it bigger or we can move it around as well notice if I put it over top of this image and hit OK that may or may not fit in with the image so sometimes you'll want to custom configure your images so that things look just right 
but this can get you started. There are some default layouts that you can use to align that text into certain positions. And that kind of gives you an idea of what you can do with the header in Artist Deer. A lot of brand new functionality. You can control the height and down to the pixel if you want. We can set the margins as we looked at earlier. We can go with a sheet width or a page width. Lots of layouts to choose from. And all in all, this is really making a, a number of steps forward with this particular software program, giving you the ability to customize your WordPress themes quite extensively.